We're in our mystery location right now. We thought we would tell you a bit further on down the line where we are. In this cemetery where we are currently stood, there are buried 58,000 people. Some are said to be have moved from another cemetery to the one that we're currently in. Some are said to be have buried here from the start. So I hope you enjoy the live and stay on the edge of your seats. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe. and keep watching. Hi, welcome to Northwest Ghost Adventures with your boy Chris Moon. And your girl Shazza. We're actually here at a secret location right now. Um, it was weird actually because all of a sudden when we arrived here, there was loads of people, people. everywhere and all of a sudden God. everybody's just disappeared. That's and it's just an absolute mystery how Why all of a sudden it's gone quiet and the, the, the mood has actually changed so much already. And it's getting dark about yeah, it, isn't it? it is. So, join us on the, for the hunt. It's going to be good, guys. And epic. Yeah. So, enjoy. Go on. <laughs> <Tap me. laughs> Subscribe to Northwest Ghost Adventures. Northwest Ghost Adventures. Yeah. yeah. They're out here doing good people, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to check us out and uh, they're going to watch our stream on Friday when it's up. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. What's your names? So we know yeah. who's popping up. Lewis. Lewis. Got Lewis. And Joe. Fitzy. Yeah, Fitzy. nice one. Fitzy. 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 F-I-T-Z-Y. Ah, I see. There you go. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll find something tonight anyway. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah. mate. We're, yeah. it's anything's yeah. possible. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I reckon we will. So. You know, there's 58,000 people buried here, so... 58,000 chances of getting something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, this location where we're at bit now, there's been known to have been banging on the bars and everything coming from here. Anything here right now? Can you make your presence known? Can you bang on the bars? The brick work here. I right? swear we got a shadow then, and that was none of our shadow. The brickwork here is actually newer, so it could have been that there was summer behind that. Yeah. Because you look at that brickwork, it's pretty new. And I mean, why would you just put a gate for a bit of section off a bit like, like that? It's a tunnel, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I was, it wouldn't it's surprise me if that was something like that went under the cathedral because it's yeah. like it's an entrance. Yeah. I agree. Entrance. But now they've bricked it off so no one can get in. Right. They've gone off. I'll do the first TV. There yeah. you go, recording. Right. Is that alright, scrap there? Yeah. You're just sitting yeah. in there nicely. That's alright though. Yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, spirits. Anyone here, please come and try and talk with us. Anyone's here? Have you been getting anything, Chris? <laughs> Not the minute. It's messed up. Started. There's a black knob on the box. You come and speak through that black knob. That will you can communicate with us. I just want to try something at this point, probably from there. Yep. I'll just explain what these are. For anybody who's wondering what we just put on the floor, these two are new EV pumps that we just were testing prototypes. Uh, they generate electric magnetic fields, pump energy into them. Uh, best way is probably showing you. Um, these are the smaller ones that we have at the moment. Use, use the energy that's been placed in this triangle. Come and charge your energies. <laughs> There you go, he's got a meter, I'm looking for mine. As you what? can see, they're, creati they're creating an electromagnetic field. There's three of them around Chris, so hopefully they'll generate a bit of energy. Go and stand within the triangle that Chris is stood in, and you should be able to use the energy generated by these pumps to give you more energy to physically be able to manifest.
you have a name? Let's get a name. Michelle, come to me. I don't know why. I got that before. Didn't I? I said to you about right. Michelle. Yeah. Who is this Michelle? Michelle, did you die here? Right now yeah, the other thing is though, is I, for some reason, the other thing that keeps popping into my head is fire. Fire. Wow. Then we the shell. Don't be afraid to come and talk with us. We're here not to mean you any harm. We come in peace. We just want to communicate. And this is the place to be if you're going to talk with us. You should be alright. If he starts feeling a bit ill, this is the way he needs to get out. Okay. But just to give you a demo as well. Hands go tingly without even touching them. I've got some kind of light, mate, going across the floor. It's just constant. The shell. Yeah. Constant. Who is this Michelle? Maybe and for some reason now, the little girl. Emily. Is that what she was called? They were talking about it. Oh boy. I've got, I've got name Emily. But is it actually what she's called, or is it that they gave her a name? I mean. About ten. <laughs> so are you getting that? He said it every time I was here before he even said how many spirits so in my head I was like ten. ten. Wow. Every time. <laughs> Something like I'm not I'm not here. I'm not here. Matt. Right, what did that just say? Like Matt. I said Matt. Matt. That was Matt. That's what I heard. Do you know Matt? Are you watching over Matt? Go and get us in, shall we? Walk forward. Hmm? I've got him in. Joe. Joe. Hello, Joe. Hi. Just turn a noise over here. Do you go over there? Don't know. This neat gates. Right, so grab that pump back in. I have to see if we can charge this energy a bit into these gates. So we've got to go and set it up. So we've got to go and set it up. 
So what we're currently doing is we're currently charging the energy where we're here and stuff, giving them a bit more to play with to see if it helps to get more par more paranormal stuff going on. And if it does, well, good. We can catch it out as evidence. Uh. Hello. The way it does what I'm getting. But I wanna what well, I wanna say there is a door there and I wanna say on the other side of that wall it's cobblestones and a long corridor is what which also would make Death. us Death Did you hear that? Yeah I heard that. Whoa, I've never heard anything like that before. That's cool. If you is that confirming that you died here? and outdoors and getting escaping and all the rest I mean the other thing is it in a way is a way of getting from there Chris it's been recording not so no it stopped Yeah. There was three, and they've all been filled in. This yeah. one goes underneath the cathedral, but they don't know where it goes. Yeah. I don't like the machine things down there. A lot of the tunnels we use for the hearses to come through, like walk through. Do you want to have a go with the box and I'll uh, film you? Yeah, if you want. Yeah? Just hold that on. You can use the side, the metal plate, there to put your hand on <laughs> to charge your energy. Let's do it. Yeah? Hello, spirits. Here you go. Hi. Who's, who am I talking with? What is your name? What's your name? Pete. Pete. Hello, Pete. How old are you, Pete? Yeah. Ill. <laughs> are you somewhere in the graveyard, Pete? Yeah. Are you buried here, Pete? Yeah. Did you die here? You can put them off as long as you want. They're not the big bad dad boy bad boys that we've got one say that will make you ill if you stay in town within five minutes. Are you able to use the energy that's getting put off them EM pumps? If you go stand by it, it'll charge you up so you'll be able to mine them. Help you communicate more. Can you bang on them railings? <laughs> Did you used to go through these tunnels, Pete? Did you come through them?
who used to come through these tunnels. Who used these tunnels? How many spirits died within this uh, cemetery? Ten. Is that the ten that we, yeah. we were picking up on? It's weird how it said ten. Well, that's it. It's weird how you didn't even say anything. I didn't even say anything to you. But we were both in tune. You confirmed Michelle and I said to Claire right at yeah. the start. We stood over by there. There's someone that was something to do with Michelle. And then you went and said it afterwards, but you weren't yeah. even talking to me, so, like, not in a bad way, but you get no. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> me and Chris tell that right at the start, kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What, well, I'd be curious about this if you can. Yeah. The guy, you got that off, but he's talking about putting your own hand on the side of it to charge it. Ask him how much energy it would take. Yeah, yeah. If we could put an EMF, strap an EMF pump to the side of it. Ooh, yeah, pump it proper. Yeah, yeah. Who's whose grave am I stood in front of right now? Yeah. Yeah. Whose grave is this? Whose grave is it? Whose grave? What is what is the cathedral called in front of us? What is the cathedral called in front of us? Can you tell us the location? Can you let the viewers know where we are? No, why not? Are there any bad spirits in this cemetery? I don't feel no negative. Not over here, no. No. It's just I'm going off what I've seen before. Okay. Is there a bad entity within this? Within this cemetery? Is there anything evil? Anything that isn't supposed to be in this cemetery. I think we're uh, <coughs> getting for another tour, we're not, but uh, Quite interesting actually to ask afterwards how many people actually died if the number is 10. Yeah. Okay, I've placed some motion sensor lights on the floor. If you can go over there and touch them, use the energy. Make them go off. Just move them a bit and they'll go red. If you go and touch them. Mm. 
he manifests somewhere else within the cemetery. <laughs> Come on, don't don't be afraid to come and talk with us. Well, like someone was stuck behind you a minute ago, like putting their arm through the bar. All right. Yeah. Can you tell us who that was? Can you try and come round one of us? Touch one of us. Matt said, uh, can you touch one of us? Do you know, uh, suddenly gets grabbed, but there's a voice that says, ha, ha, ha. Something, mate. Good job. My back's just gone. Top of me back. Back where your neck comes down. Just so yeah. yeah. I've just gone really hot and really itchy though. Did you just touch Gino? If you did, can you play with them balls on the ground? The motion sensing so you can touch them and let us know that you are here. As I say, we mean you no harm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you so much. Can you touch the other one? Thank you so much. And make that one go off. <gasps> Thank you. Can you do the other one as well? We've just made contact. Thank Are you, you able to communicate Can you do it again? It's them. Um, well, it thank you so much. Right on command as well. Can you touch the other one? And make the <laughs> other one go off? Wow. Use our energy if you need to, to do it. Thank you so much for doing that and proving that you are here with us. Use our energy. Sorry again, Chris, just out of curiosity. <laughs> well, we've got some equipment out. Yeah. I'm just going to drop a new message in between and see if it affects them. What's okay. Your if it doesn't, and there is something wrong there, it may draw some more energy. Yeah. That was weird. I looked up there, you know where the mausoleum is, that's where the gates is, you can't get in there, right? And I was looking up there, and never did, I thought somebody was looking at me, like looking down, so I looked, 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 looked up like that fast to look. So I tore it and then went my axe so I looked back down and was like, what? If you can try and use that energy pump there on the ground, come and use that and touch them balls again. I did it before, do it again. All you have to do is just touch it, walk over to them. That pump won't hurt you in any way. It'll no. It'll just give you more energy. It'll just make you stronger. The amount of energy it puts out, you should be able to roll that ball all across the floor. Can you roll them? I swear it said roll. Can you make them roll? I tell you what, Chris. I really do feel like I've been changed. Do you? Yeah. Check his back of his neck. Someone scratched? Did someone touch or scratch? Uh, I think Gino's been scratched right now. Sort of here. Oops, sorry. I feel like I've been scratched. I, can. I can't. I'm really itchy though. Oh dear. 
Yeah. Red. Yeah, it is red, yeah. The balls are going off. Yeah, it's just red. Whoa. Did you make Can you do that again for us, please? It was the other ball as well this time. Wow. Can you make it go off again? Proper just felt like it was wet there. It's red. Yeah, it's From this side. Who scratched? Do you know? Don't worry, I don't, I don't mind. It's funny how we're looking at his back and it started it going off. She's got a camera rolling on it all the time now, so... Yeah, exactly. Oh. Sorry. It's, listen, it's okay, honestly, there's no need to be sorry. Did you not mean to I'm do just it? so glad that you've let us know that you are here. And just as Chris has asked you, You've touched one of us as we've asked, it doesn't matter. You haven't caused me any harm. I'm just really glad you've done it. And I'm glad it's left a mark because it confirms that, uh, firstly, I'm not here. going mad. And secondly, that you've done as we've asked. Yeah, so absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. He did say thanks, didn't it? Yeah. You go. Can you, are you able to communicate some more? Are you able to move them balls? Oh, thank oh, you. Thank, thank you. you. Can you That's do the awesome. other one for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you make the other one go off with me, please? Or make both of them go off at the same time? Yeah. Can you touch both? Can you touch both of the balls for us, please? <laughs> Will you touch them for me? Inside, you can see, like, a, it looks a bit hunting too. Well, oh. he said he felt like he got gripped as well. Yeah, yeah. but it was sort of as well, someone's grabbed me, nails in grabbed me. It's like, it was like, no, ah. he's got like a red marker around as well. That's crazy. Oh, Come and do it for us. Can you flash? Flash on them meters. Meters. I wish I could. Well, try. Try for us. What you don't want me to get cold. Oh, that's what, are you not cold? No, no. Yeah. 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 It was low. Can you walk over to it closer and touch the aerial maybe and make it light up? <laughs> Sound like it would have told me to piss off then. <laughs> yeah. Just to give you some idea of proximity for the REM pod and everything else. <laughs> As you can see, I literally have to get there. To that's, get where it was, it. that's where it was when it was. As you can there. see from other shots, yeah. there was no one that close to it just then when it started yeah. picking up. Can you make it go off like Gino just did then? Yeah, go on, space, make it go off again. Maybe put three end pumps around the back there. Yeah. In the background, what do you think? Well, what we'd have to do is we'd have to try EM pumps around it. <laughs> this is the nice thing with everything else Come at the on, moment. Spirit. It's yeah. trial and error, aren't we? Well, that K2 will spike. It'll go up to green or red if it picks it up. On, so try. then we know if we have to move it back or not. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, that's how we're testing it. Oh, are they? Maybe they'll come over to us, maybe. I don't know. They ain't feel funny then. Are they, are they on their own now? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they with somebody? Is that the tour guides? Place, aren't they? So we could easily get in contact with them. Yeah. If we don't what time did you say about half nine? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Right, so is it worth wrapping up here for a little bit? We'll go up top, have a chat with them. Yeah. Whoa! Going off again. Go into the balls Thank you, Sir. Can you put <gasps> Do it again. 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 Do it again.
it again for us. Do the balls again. Anna. Hello, Hannah. Hey, Anna. Is Anna here? So, what time are we on now then? Do you reckon we just should do what Gina just said? And so you're all wondering where we are and we didn't tell you right from the start, we like to keep you on the edge of your seat. So now we're going to tell you exactly where we are. We stood outside St. James's Cemetery within Liverpool and this is where the cemetery is. There's a lot of different stories that go on within it and there's a lot of stories around it as to what goes on. We bumped into a ghost tour guide before and we listened to some of the stories that they had to say. And we've already got some cracking stuff that's going on that we're managing to obviously capture and documentation with the balls and everything else. So, without further ado, let's get back into it and find out some more of this cracking location. And I mean, what a beautiful location it is as well. The cathedral standing tall behind us and, wow. As you can see, it's a beautiful location. What Absolutely. An awesome Back in when me and Claire used to live in Southport, we came here one time, and it was the first time I ever came here with Claire and myself. We didn't have any hunting gear with us at the time. Claire went anxiety to anything, and just it came out of nowhere for no reason down in the mausoleum in front of it, and myself. I looked into the mausoleum and just remember seeing this half human, half goat headed black figure stood further back from before, which we will show you later on. Um, the stories around obviously the location itself, uh, the reports of a little girl being seen. Um, there was a sailor. There were a sailor, yeah. There was a couple of others as well. We've had a couple of names come through on the spirit box. We've had a P, uh, me and Emily, Chris, and Emily. Me and Chris have both sensed and ten every time spirits. We, yeah, ten spirits and and, and, and one and Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we picked so up on so far. Hopefully, we can get to the. We're going to try and get to the bottom, especially of this Michelle. Why are we both picking up on this Michelle? And what is maybe is she a lost spirit in here? Is she? what we will find out and try and get to the bottom of. Um, but it is a cracking location. I mean, from it, it looks a bit small, but the graveyard actually goes down into it and around it. And there's a lot of tunnels going underneath the actual cathedral itself, which have all been blocked off. But one of the tunnels uh, is said that they don't know where it actually goes or leads to, which is an interesting one. Um, when you walk into the actual cemetery itself, there is a lot of chatter, as I would describe it, but it's not like, like I'm talking to you guys now, it's sort of like whispers, but it's very faint. And it was the same last time I came, and it's as soon as you walk in, it's especially in that corner where we've just been first time. Um, I remember a story that Claire told me when she was doing, on one of them ghost tours actually, the same, one of the gravestones fell over and cracked, that gravestone is still on the floor cracked and that was 12 years ago when she came and did that, so, and it fell over right in front of her. Where do you go? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. 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 Brilliant. Um, ready to go when okay. you're ready? Uh, so, uh, my name is Dan Roberts uh, and this is... I'm Tash Llewellyn. And uh, we run the Tales from the Necropolis Ghost Tour here in Liverpool at St James's Cemetery. Now it's um, a very unusual site, this a very, very old and not a lot of people realise just how old it is. 
because if you go down, you'll see just on your left on the sandstone edifices a lot of evidence of Anglo Saxon elder Futhark runes. And those have been linked to a local witch in the area named Jenna Oh, Green, wow. Oh, and wow. A witch cult. In the Edwardian period, when they were excavating for the big cathedral, they found remnants of an old wooden statue of a woman, a pagan statue with runes on it, and the, ve and the vestiges of an old settlement. village, an old yeah. settlement, all arranged in a circle as if in worship of this mysterious magical female figure who was wearing a long dress as, the, as they say yes and long the, hair and a crown of laurel leaves as well there was oh, mentions wow. of this in the paper okay. at the time but one of the garden one of, one of the builders or the workers actually took this statue which would have been of immense archaeological value and took it to adorn's garden in walton and it was last seen in the 1950s was and, it, it? And, and it's now lost completely lost which is very strange. just yeah. a, a tragedy just yeah, yeah it is it is so has anything been captured here at all or a scene or we've had well, yeah you've had, had experiences guests. yourself so we we tell people of a much reported on phenomena okay about and i think i saw you guys down there by, yeah. by the two cubic tombstones yes yes, yes. One, um, of this, one of them is by it's sir thomas pittard that's one of yeah, the, the two of thomas pittard now there's yes. a, been a lot of reports since the 70s now and a little bit before that of a strange blue skinned demonic entity described as I believe that Shaz took this picture and captured the blue man known you know as the demon entity who has a top hat and if you look very closely he does look like he's got a top hat and a top hat a monocle fangs people have reported seeing this usually he'll manifest himself as a pall of smoke and then take the form of a physical person and we believe it's a demonic entity wow. because yeah. it's very strong and it's been able to punch people in the face and almost break the jaw yeah. strangle people as well, well, well when yeah, we were I down just, there you just got attacked yeah. 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 he had like a hand so mark like on it and he felt like somebody had gripped the back of his oh neck oh my god so, uh, but yeah. at the same time Claire said it was like because I was sat down in, I think it was you were studying one of the front of the graveyards and watching but I stood in front of the same grave and constantly I bent down there's a big gap and you're constantly just like something's yeah. constantly looking at you. Yeah. You can feel yeah. it, you yeah. can totally, there's something very strange. And funnily enough, a woman who came on one of our tours, before we told her this story and, and that, yeah. and okay. she, she'd said she used to come here as an artist and sketch the cathedral and the oratory, which oh, as you wow. can see is only a stone's throw away from this. Yeah. And she said in broad daylight in June, while she was sketching the oratory, a pall of grey smoke started to manifest right next to her and oh, take wow. the form of a human. She gathered the stuff up and ran away. This wow! Before we'd even told her about this phenomenon, yes. so very unusual. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any experiences of anything down there personally? We did. We experienced something that we can't quite explain. It may well have a mundane explanation, and we've tried to explain this. But once again, by the top, the tomb of Thomas Pittard, there was a large block of stone. I think it was an old Celtic tombstone that had been knocked down. Yes. Extremely heavy. Yeah. Twelve years ago. Uh, it might have been, yeah. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, Claire was here on that ghost tour yeah. and it fell over while they were doing the that's tour. It. Oh, that's really weird. Well, on oh, that, wow. on that, so I'll tell you what we, what, so what happened with us, there was a huge big stone and we were rehearsing for our tour this late into the night. Year, yeah. Right, last year. We were here right up until the night time. There was no, not a soul down here, well, I say not a soul, not a, not a living person down there. Exactly, you know what you and, meant. <laughs> we, we, came, we came back the next morning, early the next morning, and because we'd been rehearsing there all week, we knew every stone, we knew every gravestone. One of these enormous, insanely heavy rocks, overnight, for some reason, had been flipped over and launched about 30 feet away from where it had been. Wow. How can you explain that? Yeah. Why anyone would yeah. do the amount of effort, I can tell you now, because I tried lifting it, it was unliftable. Exactly. So why the, the heavy stone? Yeah, it yeah, is. Heavy. And that's... I understand you may want to, you know, the friends of St. James Cemetery do it, but they wouldn't do that overnight. But time. that's still kind of scary in a way, because if it's got that sort of energy, if if for someone it could literally physically attack somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most it's... human entities don't tend to have such no, physical strength. No, exactly. Strength. So it's got to be a poltergeist some sort. Sinister. Something and we sinister, yeah. All kinds of um, sinister black magic rituals take place in this place. Okay. We've seen vestiges of it. We've seen black candles burned to a nub. Evidence of slaughtered animals, blood really? runes into some gravestones. Bizarre. Wow. Really bizarre. Really bizarre. We met a, um, an eccentric man down here who called himself the spiritual gatekeeper of St. James's Cemetery. He told us all kinds of bizarre stories about Brilliant. the place. Really great. And he, he pointed mm. out the things that he said. He, there's, you'll notice as you go down, there's a sort of, I'll point it out to you, there's a solitary 
gravestone. It looks like a Celtic cross, which the Victorians are quite fond of. Is that the one in this corner? Just, just, it's actually... It's sort of wow. As you go just, yeah, the by the corner, yeah, yes. on its own. That one, he says, don't touch that. He says, don't make physical contact with it because there's a lot of negative rituals have been taking place there, again, with black candles, slaughtered animals. And right on that corner, on the slope, a lot of people have seen a swirling black mass manifest itself of an evening or a pillar of shadow. I've seen that. We came one time, but we were hunting at the time, and uh, you witnessed the, the that monument in the middle, I was just looking into it. Claire had started having a panic attack out of nowhere, and then literally I just saw something that was black mass, like goat's head, and it was like literally a quick, and it was like one of the moments where you just look really fast to make sure what you've just seen, and then it was yeah. gone. And walked over to where it was, got a massive migraine out of nowhere, walked past it, and it was gone like that. That's very, at that exact location that so many That's other people crazy. have reported. Yeah. Very curious. Yeah. Uh, I get chills every time I, I dread that part of it because you're literally sandwiched between yeah. what we believe is the cause of it, is the rituals that have happened, just the stones throw away from it, and the site where this thing is said to manifest. All right. Um, yeah, a lot of people have seen that, seen that swirling, a pillar of shadow, yeah. describing it as a swirling black mass. And I completely get what you mean by having that sort of panic attack. Sometimes yeah. it's just sort of a feeling or insistent sensation, yeah. um, rather than actually witnessing something. You yeah. just suddenly feel very different. Yeah. It's bizarre. We, we noticed that when we walked down into it, the, everyone started clearing up just probably before you were doing the tour as well. The atmosphere just started changing. Like Instantly. Instantly. Instantly, yeah. And then it, yeah. Like it changes to one cool. thing. And then it changes to another phase. We actually all felt that. We make oh. a point of, we always say that, that it's the, the paranormal you guys will know this, they call it the psychic hours. As yeah. soon as the light goes, that's when phenomena yeah. just picks up. Yeah. We, exactly. we found it amazing that it was it literally apart from a, a small group in the back in the back corner over there, it literally emptied in an instant and as soon as it were emptied it were like yeah. people you know, started to change a yeah. to describe yeah. it. it is, yeah. Speaking on the People who the demonic, as the theory goes, tend to prey on the spiritually or physically or mentally weak. Mm. And people who might struggle with drug addictions or alcoholism can be believed to be infested or possessed by a demonic entity. That's one of the theories. Yeah. I don't think it's a coincidence that this place seems to be a magnet for such people. Mm, We've seen yeah. sinister people yes. acting almost possessed. Well, we, we had that when we walked in, didn't we? There was a, a woman sat there who mm. literally yes, was. We've, we've Oh, it, and well. everything that she said was just rhyming and I'm like did anyone else notice that every sentence rhymed yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. it's a bit strange well, that one that's where she was and there's yeah. two flowers and two 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 pieces of stick where she was sat so she was talking about dancing and everything weren't yeah. she yeah, she, just saw, she came up yeah. to us and she sort of said oh there's a face in this stick and and we just sort mm. of like oh, okay um, yeah. But yeah, very, because, very freaky. Oh very yeah. When you correlate it with a lot of the yeah. Yeah. phenomena down here, yeah. you know, very strange mm. stuff. But in that area where she actually was, that's where I was saying we we got some devices out and we started getting hits on the uh, motion balls. Yeah. They started going off on command. And um, well, you asked someone to you asked yeah, you said, I said can, can you touch someone? If and anybody's as here, as soon as he said it, I just felt like boom, just boom. But it were like yeah. a nails in grab, and I, would, I just went whoa. It's so like the, these are them. And I took me top off to have, to so have a look, and they've, we've you know, placed them down. Out. Literally, it's like that. Have to move them kind of thing for them to go off. Wow. So I see. You have to physically touch them. So. And start moving them kind of thing. And they went off. Yeah, they went off. Yeah, as soon as I asked, is there any spirits here? We started redoing it again because we'd asked about it. Yeah. Did you make and them then go we were off? having a thing where we're checking your neck and everyone was focusing on you and they started yeah. going off again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we also have a spirit box though. Yeah. In the uh, case, yeah. And it came from I, I'm taking my top off right? and I've said, I've been scratched, something's grabbed me. And you just are clear as day, sorry. sorry. No, and really. I've just said, listen, you know, don't worry about it. You know, it, it's, it's proof there's something out there. And straight away, as soon as I finish my sentence, thanks. So, yeah, it does again. Out. Not to invite so them in. Or... Off. Well, like, I don't know why it keeps cutting out. No, I these, don't. These still got recording as well, then. So yeah. yeah well, well, if you want, if you don't mind, would you mind taking us down and showing us a few spots? <laughs> how, um, so how long have brilliant. you two been doing this for? We've been doing this now for was it, since it's just October. Before. And you cover other locations as well. We just specialise in this. I, my whole life, we're both actors. Yeah. Uh, and my whole life, I've been obsessed with the paranormal. Myself, yeah. I've been fascinated right. by it. 
and I knew a lot of the folkloric stories and so I w I'd heard about them and I did a bit of research to find out the exact locations where these things meant to happen because I like to see physically where it was and if I can feel anything in the area mm -hmm. and then after knowing all of these stories we just figured it made sense to make a folkloric tour and tell people about the phenomenon yeah, that's definitely. quite here. Yeah, yeah it's really interesting. There within Liverpool as well yeah. that they've got other stuff going on. There are other Because it'd be yeah. good to maybe, if we're down here again, maybe get you to involve and if you know more on the locations it'd be nice yeah, to have insights on it. Brilliant, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, that, that brilliant. Would be awesome. brilliant. Yeah, what? Yeah, we'll definitely take you down now and just show you some of That's great, that's right. thank you. <laughs> Need just under 60,000 Victorian Edwardian dead here, well, and you can check the records actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up with the link, you can yeah, that'd be search interesting names. because when we were doing something before, we asked how many people had died here, and me and Chris are sort of in tune with it. Yeah, I'm thinking 10 in the air before he's even said it, and he said 10, and I instantly walk away because I'm like, he's just said what I'm actually thinking. You know? Yeah, and then and I the got word, Mich I Michelle said, came to me. And Matt already, already said, said it to Claire. That, I said to Claire before when I stood over there for some reason. There's no way I could have known that. It could be. Well, a lot of people see a woman in a black dress. Ah, that. maybe she's so Michelle. That could be it. Yeah. yeah. Dating back to either the Victorian or Edwardian era based on her attire. Otherwise, no one knows what her name is. So. But definitely check out the records because I wouldn't be surprised. As... Your camera bag. I'm close back. Oh, yeah. It is such an amazing place, though, isn't it? It is really uh, oh, it's fascinating. Incredible fascinating. Place. And so yeah. old, so people don't exactly. realize even, I mean, yeah. it was We know it was a quarry, but even before that, pre Tudor times, pre Christian times, it was like we say, it was a settlement with a witch cult. And this is like a pagan, and there's pagan runes all over the sand, so loads of evidence of this. And down, it was weird actually, because even down there where that tunnel is as well, you feel like there's someone in there. I don't know why, but yeah. you just get that feeling that. It's a very old you know, tunnel. We, we walked yeah. back just to make sure we hadn't missed you, because we didn't know if you were going to come out the other end. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we no. always come, come back out of the end. <laughs> So what days do you actually do this? Is it all, we do it all every week, weekend, every, yeah. every weekend? Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Brilliant, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll so get out before we go. It's just so everyone, you know, can, can what they're interested, they can look up and how would they find you? How so do you? If you could go to talesfromthenecropolis.co.uk, that's our website. You'll see. You just follow the links there. Click book now. You can book yourselves on, and we'll take you around and tell you everything there is to know about St James's Cemetery. There you go. Definitely. Make sure you. It's definitely. Absolutely. Get on there and get booked in, and enjoy your tour. You'll learn a thing or two. Impress your friends. Exactly. Yes. Well, I've got some flyers as well. So if you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Are we all? Ghost yeah. Nah, no, I love it. We like a bit of ghost hunting. Yeah. Oh, so what have you seen? Something yourselves then, yeah? What some have you actually seen then? Some of the lads seen two some of the like girls and like two women in white dresses. Wow. But well, they they had like they had like they had, it was like blood and blood. Yeah, yeah, but there only a few of the lads seen it, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. If you want to check out Northwest Ghost Adventures, this is up this will be on our channel on YouTube. Yeah, if you can remember that. <laughs> Already this tunnel's changed the atmosphere in it as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> this is actually a natural tunnel which the uh, it was here when the stonemasons were working here as a quarry yeah. and they just etched it out with the chisels. This is called wow. twelve records and just made it into a nice smooth arc. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, lot of skills. There's a lot of, you can tell a lot of uh, details gone into it. Well, you look around, you'll see 300 year old graffiti all over the place from these stonemasons and etch the names and dates into the wall. Some of them are wow. there, dating back to the 1700s. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
think it's me, I didn't know that. Is it this one you were saying? Oh. No, just up ahead, on your left there. No way. Yeah, yeah. This one here, the tall one. Just, just pass it round the corner, come round Right, the because when we walked round the other corner, it was, I thought I saw someone stood right behind This it. is the corner here, this is the wow. area. Is this where the mist was caught then? Yeah. No, no. So the no. So two demonic entities. We've got the blue-skinned, vampiric-looking guy in old-fashioned clothing with a top hat, has appeared to a lot of people and punched them with serious force, almost breaking the jaw. Um, a big gang of kids in the 70s was chased out and traumatised by this blue-skinned figure. Wow. Uh, okay. And one of the kids came back allegedly with his Jamaican father, and the father was seized by the throat and bitten on the face when this blue-skinned demonic entity darted out from in between the two tombs. The lad and his dad came back with a big gang of friends and family looking for him, but he was nowhere to be found. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Wonder if that's what actually uh, attacked you there. Because you got... Yeah, it, yeah, could, it could have been the blue... It, it, was, it was a voice that came through though as well. Mm. When he said thanks. That's very curious. Isn't it? A lot of people who live around this area report him looking through the windows as well. A man with a blue face and a monocle. Oh, wow. It was a student, wasn't yeah. it? Not too long ago, a female student on Duke Street on the ground floor mm. flat reported. She thought it was a, someone with a mask playing a prank. But as she looked, the face just vanished before her very eyes. Right, yeah. So it's actually here, just before we round the corner, it is. This uh, steep embankment. Yeah. Over the years, a number of people have seen they can only describe as a swirling black mass or a pillar of shadow seen ascending and descending the wooded slope with an eerie sort of intelligence. And as wow. I'm sure you guys know, that's, that doesn't really sound like a typical human manifestation. Watch this bag. Well, yeah, something that would choose to manifest like that as a black massive shadow is usually a bad sign. Of course it is, yeah, without a doubt. And that was at the top here, was it? Where yep, you were saying? It's been seen manifesting here and then floating down during the evening sometimes. Wow. And people who see it report the feeling that it's watching them, that it has an eerie sort of sentience. You've got that all over you, I think. Like, yeah, you have. Even though everyone's left, you constantly feel it. And you know what? I'm drawn to the water that it's still being pumped out. I'm thinking that is using as a source of, uh, you know, yeah. to charge up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That's yeah. it. I also yeah. believe that if you yeah. the water, it cured stuff as well. So, yeah, it, well, for locals for centuries, this, so this is a very old spring. It's actually Liverpool's only surviving natural spring. Shallow wow. spring, it's called. First discovered uh, some 248 years ago by quarry workers in 1773. Isn't it a story that one of them actually turned to stone or something, drinking it or something? Well, it, there was actually, um, it was, I believe, the, so there's a subterranean stream that obviously comes out of that eastern wall as a spring, and I believe that stream had gone over a graveyard, and the minerals in the water had turned a corpse inside one of the coffins into almost like he was petrified in stone. Which wow. Is pretty, pretty creepy. It is actually, isn't it? Yeah. Very it's, creepy. It's pretty safe to drink. Like, I, okay. I take drinks from it all the time. Oh, and, right, okay. And, and actually, a lot of locals believe it has a magical healing property. Mm -hmm. For a long time, we yes. believed that. Wow. Uh, even after the World Wars, uh, people would come here just to touch the water or drink it, hoping to hasten the recoveries. Uh, there's a lot of different theories about what makes it so magical. Uh, one of the theories we've heard from spiritualists or druids in the area, they've told us that a ley line actually runs right along the eastern wall of the cemetery and cuts right through the stream. It would explain a lot of the energy, energy yeah, and how definitely. stuff's getting a lot of power to be able to manifest and throw people and physically break course, the jaws. Yeah, I've heard yeah, the theory yeah. that they can use even just natural water is something spirits can it's a con it's yes. energy from well, it's a conductor, it's a conductor isn't it? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And also the stone tape theory, we are, we are in a quarry. They record this everything, lot, every yeah. movement that happens. The theory that natural, naturally occurring resources like stone and stuff can record things mm. and events that happen or psychic energies from people. And of course that's why we get horns in This is, indeed is a quarry, so a lot of stone here for the stone tape theory. Oh yeah, it probably get worth getting the uh, ghost box out and trying to uh, use this. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah.
Well, yeah. Did you guys ever watch um, the Ghost Dimension? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Those guys did a, a, an investigation here not too long ago in St James's Cemetery. They oh, right, okay. Mental stuff by um, inside Huskerson's mausoleum. Oh right, it's just here. There's an SLS camera, no structured, yeah. structured light sensor camera. Yeah, we are. Yeah. They're amazing, I think they're fantastic. Yeah. It's just there, I couldn't find the, uh, the charges. I don't mind, so it's all handheld, I'm going to go back for it. Uh, but then I'd, want, I'd own where I'm putting it through. Well, if you find it, come back here with it. Yeah. I we will. Ghost Dimension, it's amazing, that programme. But they, these, those guys came here, and they were pointing their SLS camera through here. And the infrared, obviously, as you know, it scatters infrared laser light that the human, and the idea is it'll detect things that the human eye can't. But they saw, sure enough, it, it detected the stick figure, obviously, yeah. of a man, and it responded intelligently to them. He was standing right at the back and he said, are you William Huskerson? If you're William Huskerson, wave your right arm. And sure enough, you see the stick figure yeah, that raise its white arm. You mentioned that then, you've got a arm. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks like well, above your head. You know us quite well now, I think, Mr. Huskerson. <laughs> You've probably seen us here all the time doing our tours. Hello, Mr. Huskerson. <laughs> if you can make your presence known to us right now, that'd be cool. Give us an orb or anything you can do. Why do you linger here, Mr. Huskerson? So it might be worth getting the uh, after port out right now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you don't mind, that well, is certainly, a... Certainly, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Hello spirits. If anyone's here who wants to communicate, you may use this device. Is it Mr. Huskinson? Mr. Huskerson. Mr. William Huskerson. The Right Honourable William Huskerson. Why do you linger here, sir? If you can, come and talk in there, Mr. William Huskerson. Are you there, Mr. Huskerson? Please try to communicate with us. We mean you no know, disrespect, Mr. Huskerson. We come here with good intentions. Why do you linger here at your mausoleum? Yeah, there's something else. They took your statue from here. How do you feel about that when they took your statue from here? Hi, I'm Mick, I thought he said. What did they take from the actual... The mausoleum? Yeah, mausoleum. What did they take out of your mausoleum? What's missing? I said oil. You no, know, I thought he said oil. And then I he thought said he said oil. Well, yeah. It doesn't only happen, it's windshielded. Is it yeah, really? It went it oil, said oil. And yeah, then it went out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Saying, uh, yeah. That makes land. sense, and yeah. yeah. Did you blow the uh, lantern out? Yeah, exactly. This one's never What's gone that? out. What's that? Oh. Spirits, did you blow the lantern out? Did you blow my lantern out, Mr. Huskerson? Does the light bother you? Yes. I heard yes. 
uh, would do if it was sort of a dark entity like would do it to you? Yes. Yeah, there's something. So get there. out. So do you want us to leave you alone? Uh, Why do you want us to get out? What is my name, Mr. Huskerson? Can you tell me my name? Use this device. Manipulate the sound. It was a male voice, definitely. So that is a bit of equipment that we've just finished making. It's an EM pump, so it will generate. Use this energy. Use this energy. Try them balls again. Put them down. Oh, did y'all? Put Chris's balls away. Yeah, I know. The summer, I'm just constantly walking why did you linger in here, oh. Mr. Huskerson? Help. Help. Yeah. Why do you need help? How can we help you? That's what we're going to have to Yeah, he am pumped. Try it you now. were killed by a train, Mr. Huskerson. How do you feel about that? We're sorry that the train ran over your leg. Can you play around with the devices as well? Use our contraptions. Make yourself known to us. Use our energy. Can't. 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 I feel like everything should be using the devices. They're just all they're doing is they're giving power to help you talk to us. This is your chance to communicate with us, Mr. Huskerson. You said about you got energy and just before you said it, mind the job. What do you want to tell us, sir? Before I heard it say demon, I don't know if you heard that. Let's pick out what it was, we'll have to review footage on that one. Yeah. So come. So come. Ray. Hello, Ray. Are you the one who scratched me? Yeah. It's whatever it is, it's sir. Who will succumb? What will we succumb to? Do you want us to leave?
Listen, you did say listen. Listen to what? What do you want to tell us? You have our ears, sir. Communicate with us. Yeah. Are you all right? Are you happy? All of a sudden, the wind just seems to pick up and come out of nowhere. The male voice. It's a lot of male voices. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So it's coming close to that. We can hear you trying, Mr. Oskarsson. Use this energy, now is your chance. <laughs> Communicate with us. <laughs> Come through for us. Suggestion right Honourable Mr. William Oskarsson. Carry on a bit walk through. Yeah, come back to the spot with it if you don't mind. Yeah. Try again in a little bit. Try again because I, I just get the feel that something's building. Me. Something yeah. is building. Yeah, something is definitely it's building. building. Something's it's coming, but it's yeah. also something's walking around yeah, here and it constantly. Stops. Yeah, because that wind, did you hear that wind yeah. is just crazy. Yeah, it's just and coming and going. Yeah. My legs are just totally gone. That's because you're old, no, it was when we were talking about energy before, we yeah. said use our energy, and just as he said use our energy and mine, it just straight through the bottom of my legs. It's very curious that this went out, I will say. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, fact that it said oil as well. It said oil, and then went out. It's wind garden. This, yeah. never, this one never goes off. Wow. That is strange. That is <laughs> really strange. <laughs> And you're both letting them at the same time as well, yeah. isn't it? Oh, there's plenty yes. of wick and oil. There's plenty yeah. of oil and wick and that. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. Oils, it went out. Yeah. It's yeah. strange. Ho oh, oh. ho. That's crazy, isn't it? Very sweet. You've taken our energy. <laughs> Say I am. Please. Please, Please yeah. <laughs> What do you want, sir? Do you need our help? Everyone's gone again. Ah. Hmm? No, it's still some of that. Farm? 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 What about a farm? Anne. Anne. <laughs> farm Anne. How many spirits are here? I right, just leave that on so you know what's going on. Use this energy. Speak to us. Yeah, but that Seven could be that device oh, making yeah. well, from fifteen to thirteen. 9.5, 9 9.4. 9 She's got a lot of energy. Colder? Inside. Inside where? This meter's going off now. Isn't it? Inside the ground. Sorry. Table. Actually, so, mad though. Sounds you like see, no. You can see how far it's generating the energy out because this one's going off. They'll, they'll crank it out. You get yeah, them set up in a triangle. I just need to make them quiet tonight. So we're obviously generating energy because that wall is going key, crazy you now. It's it. like before yeah. it could go on and then stay yeah. off. And... Come on, make that ball light up more for us. Show us you here. Thank you. Thank you. Can you make the red pod go off? Can you see ball? Feel it. Oh wow. 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 Oh wow
flexing ah. room. Can you still kind of see into them as well? They're sealed up, and you'll, you'll see the ones that were broken into because they're sealed up with uh, 60s and 70s bricks, yeah. as opposed to the ones which are sealed with yeah. sandstone. Most of these things were never used. Those ones down there are occupied. But interesting now, this this bit here is 666, and just getting a lot of feedback. Though. Yeah, that's mental. Exactly. This is what they're doing. We heard green yeah. and energy when that light was green. Yeah. It's validation because you can't explain that. It's, it's yeah. insane. You know, as I say, with this one, yeah, all right, you can explain what's going on with the voice box. Hell. 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 You can't explain with the ball. <laughs> Yes. You know, there's only one way that's triggered. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a portal to hell? <laughs> take, take that as a yes with the ball. All the meters are stuck. The so minute we placed that down, it did say hell. Very clear. <laughs> Very, and it's done it again as well. And <laughs> time that picks something up, it lights up. So that's... Right. We need, I tell you what, we do need to come here again, we need to bring SLS camera, we need to come Yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. We need to come heavy with everything, really. Yeah. Because there's definitely a lot going on. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? you want to get some more? To you, or well, we can like come say, back. We, we, we can come back. Tombs, yeah, definitely. yeah so you okay. Anything, though. Hide. Who's hiding? If. It. What's it? <laughs> Oh, that's curious because um, the, the, the old ghosts of orphans who appear here are always described as looking as though they're hiding from someone or something. And that's something we correlated with some of the horror entities here. It's not far from these stones thrown, just there. Your stomach's just gone like evil? it's curling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you've actually got to witness some of it as well. See? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's phenomenal, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like I say, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you can sort of write well and you can put an explanation to it, but yeah. there's a lot of things, you know, in your own mind, you've probably seen and heard things and there's no explanation for that. Where do you point the finger at? Because I, I am the one who will sit down logically and say, right, and I'll look for that explanation. There's no explanation for that, what's going on there. Every time that picks something up, that's going. Yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah. Do you want us to go? Yeah. <laughs> Is this because we're not performing a ritual? Maybe take some pictures. Is there anyone there who needs help? Do you need our help? <laughs> Have you gone? <laughs> Has. Has. <laughs> yes. Do you want us to leave you now? I'd say that as a yes. I don't know if he was responding because he asked the question. Yeah. Do you want us to leave? Light the ball up if you want us to go. Yeah. There you go. Got a big noise. Yeah. Go. Yeah. That's what it's been like. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, keep hold of him. We'll put him, use it in the tombs, isn't it? We'll, uh, we'll yeah. look at the tombs and then we'll call it a night. Yeah, I think. Because we yeah. can come yeah. back and get we'll more. We'll definitely like get you back. Now you we, back down. It's always awkward when you don't really know what you're walking into. Of course, you know? of course. Yes. But now we know mm. what we're walking into. It'd be good to get you down again. Six. Yeah. Six. 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 yeah. The devil's number. Some of the phenomena. It's got a 666 on the stone. 666 on the grave. And it's not even got a name And it's got no name, name on, on or anything. So what was weird, well, as soon as we so put this actual, down, um, it said hell straight away. Yeah. Ooh, that's creepy. Yeah, right. We've gone up. Uh, we've carried on. Yeah, hi Matt. So, yeah, we've looked into it. Over uh, here. I heard. We were filming at the like time. That. This was too and I looked stupid. over, and then it went, I'm out, and I went. What have we got? Thank you. Danger. 
Oh, danger, yeah? Why is it? Oh. <laughs> Silly like it, you know. Yeah, well. Oh, is it? What's dangerous around here? Hello? What I was gonna do was walk up to it and see the energy level. Hello? Which of the which is the one that's got is it this one? Catching the light, catching the light in the phone. No, this one that's got Look carefully in that window. People in. Just in the bottom corner there. You on the video? Yes. So these are the ones that are here. What is it? No. He says to me, look up at that window, I'm looking at the window, I'm catching the thing and I'm looking down. And I'm like, I'm thinking, is this my breath I'm catching? Because I'm seeing all sorts. Yeah, yeah. So I've moved my camera Who's like in this grade? And I'm looking at the camera, and I'm catching the thing, no. but I see she's I think I got some of them. What's behind, behind this wall? And they've turned slow, they've said something, they've turned around. We are. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? We are. Uh, I know there was no one there at the no. time. I couldn't see him by eye. What's your name? What's your name? See him, and then Fred on the camera. Another one we had, we did some woods in Darwin. How many of you? Okay, well, let me think how to start these. Is that one there? No. So if we start at this end... Feeling about six. You trees. Bang on the... Can you not? So you're watching here. Just see a bit of mist. Is there six of you? Yeah. Keep watching. Oh, that's Keep like watching. Think of that. Did you yeah, see that clearly? Yeah, it's peeking from around the tree. And oh, it's, and it's didn't got the shadow of the tree. Oh, right, Paul, yeah. Paul, does that say? Yeah. And then it's gone. You can see that's so crazy because the lights hit yeah. the tree and created the shadow over that, it. That one we were at, I was stuck there. And I said, I need to go. I just turned it. I need to go. Yeah. 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 I need to go. I'm horrified. And he said, well, I will go. I said, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. That time as well. Not at all, it's been that moment. Uh, but yeah. Uh, How many people have been in this tube? Nine. Right on my screen now. To get your energy transport, we're going to get someone down here. Pick your energy. What we try and do for us is go into somewhere. Have a quick look around. See if there is anything going on there. Because you get a lot of these people who do the yeah, absolutely. In, in, What's behind this yeah. wall? Why is this brickwork different? Like, positive what happened? Yeah. We've had it, we've had something every time. Every you time. I've been down here now dozens of times. Yeah. I always happen to see a slowly drifting white feather. Yeah. When it, now that's wow. widely interpreted as an angelic symbol. Yeah, it's, it's positive. Yeah. Yeah. Positive energy it always seems oh. to go very, very slowly. Every every single time. Time. Yeah. We say we're the one to go on. It's sucking. It's literally sucking. Wow. It's sucking, I can feel it. It's draining through my arm now. Literally. Yeah, may put that ball down, Gino. Taking energy. Yeah. See if we get anything here. In front of it. Literally. Walter Slim, are you here? Chris. Chris. Yeah. Chris. You met me to go in there. So I just say I put my hand on it, it felt like something was sucking my energy out. Oh wow, yeah. Walter Slim. Crazy. Are you there, Walter? Can you make the go off again? Can you make it go off again? Can you make it stop? Can you make it go off one more time? Can you touch this meter and make it go off? I've been reading one of these tombs and there's an interesting folklore story about how in 1971, a lot of people saw this happen. A strange man who appeared to be a, some sort of flesh and blood Victorian ghost wow. yeah. went right into the Philharmonic pub in front of everyone, <clears throat> ordered a ordered a gin, 
um, and he was said to have come here later that week the police discovered that a water slim's tomb which was either this one or this one as far as we can tell had been broken into right. and on the floor next to his coffin were the vestiges of a sinister incantation with an eight pointed star and we'd looked it up and that is um, one of the most terrifying and controversial rituals in black magic yeah. something called the octogenesis of resurrection which is purported to be a way of raising we the resurrected. dead yeah. Walter Slim we know you lost your fiance Sarah Beaton are you at rest now? <coughs> Where is Miss Sarah Beaton buried, Walter? She's buried in this cemetery, isn't she? You were going to marry her, weren't you? How old was Miss Sarah Beaton when she died? Happened inside this tomb. <coughs> People broke into this tomb, didn't they? How do you feel about the desecrators who broke into your tomb? Speak to us. Make your presence known. Use our energy. And come forward. Now is your chance to speak to the living. Tell us your name. our energy. Come forward and tell us your name. <coughs> Who is interred here? You can hear my voice. Touch these devices on the floor. Let's just try turning that torch out for a minute. Because I was sure it, it said light or bright. Right. And it's on fire. Oh. Is that better? Was the light too bright for you? your chance to speak to the living. Communicate with us. What do you wish to say? It's mad, isn't it? It's just gone really chilly again. It really has. It's just, yeah. It's building. It's definitely building. It felt like. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but when I stood over there before I put my hand on it, didn't I? Maybe just try and, and put started, the meat. It was like sucking through. Maybe and try and put the meter down again and see what happens. Well, that's isn't it? what I. Uh, I was doing before, and it was getting. A yeah, because you were getting hits on that, weren't you? See, there's no electricity, so they shouldn't be making that go off. No. Maybe just try and turn it off a minute. Just Look at that. Yeah. There's no. Oh, ah. the ball just went off. off the yeah, ball. Chris. Yeah. And now you've got the ball going off. What did you order from the Philharmonic pub, Mr. Slim?
we know what you said. You said to the barman, in the name of human charity, I'll have your gin, sir. And when the barman asked how you wanted it, you said, gin, sir, nothing Hello. else. That sounded like you were right, then. Yeah, yeah. It did, didn't it? I mean, that's what I picked up, then. It just sounded like you were right. Oh. What have you seen? It looked like there was something moving over there, black shadow. Yeah. But this is where I saw what I saw. And then got over to it, migraine. Are you over there? Can you show yourself right now? How many people are here with us at the moment? Good thing for you, Forrest. They shouldn't get too close to you. Yeah. You got my crystals in them. It's definitely said James did it. So James. It did sound like a name. John. Yeah. Declare your name for us clearly. <coughs> What happened in this tomb? What was performed? Things. Like what things? What was performed? Can you light the ball up in front of that device? Miss Sarah Beaton. Did you come through just now? <laughs> Who said my name? Me. Who's me? Do I know you? <laughs> Do you know anyone else if you're here? Try to answer us. Use the sound waves, use our energy, use the electromagnetic energy. Communicate with us. Now is your chance. <laughs> yeah. Can you make the ball go right up? Just touch it and it'll go off. I heard Ray again. about the people who did what they did to your tomb. Does it make you angry? Do they dis disturb your rest? They defiled your tomb? Yeah. Kind of like I heard again, right? Yeah. I heard again. Did they steal from you? No. No, we know they didn't. This is the we know nothing was stolen. It was broken into. Did nothing. they bring you back? <laughs> More validation. <laughs> Did they bring you back so you could go and drink in a pub? Go to Tales from the Necropolis and join them on Facebook and book your exciting tour. Join if you dare on your crazy adventure.